But we begin in the Russian capital, Moscow. In early September, representatives of the game's governing body and the local organizing committee for the 2018 FIFA World Cup began their second operational planning tour of 2016. FIFA's competitions and events chief officer Colin Smith led the delegation on a tour of the city's Luzhniki Stadium. The venue, which is now in its final stage of construction, will be the centerpiece of the 2018 tournament, hosting both the opening game and final. Every football stadium is unique and so you know we don't compare uh, one city to another. Luzhniki is a fantastic venue and it really is a fitting venue uh, for the opening and the final of the World Cup. It is a cathedral. Um, everyone in the stadium is very close to the action um, and it will be a fantastic atmosphere then when we, when we come to the final match. Well, we're in Luzhniki we are particularly happy because everything is not only on time but sometimes Sometimes they, they even uh, uh, accelerate certain works. Uh, we hope that it will be ready ahead of the schedule. Uh, and we're very, very happy about the quality of the works that, uh, that are being done here. The following day, the delegation was 650 kilometers east of Moscow in Saransk. The 2018 tournament's smallest host city, the Mordovia Arena, is one of six brand new purpose-built venues for the FIFA World Cup. Due for completion in 2017, the stadium will host a total of four matches at the main event and its unique design reflects the culture and vibrancy of the Moldovia region. The tour also visited Rostov-on-Don in Russia's south, a region with a rich football history. The city's newly constructed venue, the Rostov Arena, is located on the left bank of the Don River. The stadium will be the focal point of an area that will include a number of sport and recreational facilities. It will have a capacity of 45,000 for the World Cup before being reduced by a total of 3,000 post-tournament. This is the best possible place for the stadium. It's located near the city centre of Rostov-on-Don, next to all the public transport routes. Furthermore, the left bank of the Don River is a favourite place for local Rostovites to go and relax. The stadium will enhance the attraction of the area and will offer great opportunities for sports, as well as outdoor activities for children and the whole family. It was absolutely the right decision to choose this location. 